welcome. Uh, today I'm going to do a review for you of a Madewell tote compared to a Parker Clay tote. This was a requested video. So they didn't specify which two totes they wanted me to review, so I chose the two that are most similar in my opinion, and that would be the Parker Clay Caroline tote and the Medium Madewell Transport tote. I also wanted to mention that I don't often appear in my videos uh, just because I'm more of an introvert and this is kind of outside my comfort zone. I started making these videos to be helpful to you because I often reach out to YouTube myself because I'm searching for a specific brand or product and a lot of times I thought I'll find that on YouTube or else I'll find a lot or just a little and sometimes I want to watch more videos to kind of get more opinions so I thought well why don't I just put a few out there myself so that's why I'm doing this and um, Lisa had mentioned that it would be more conversational if I was part of the video so I'm giving it a try and we'll see how it goes so it's kind of outside of my comfort zone again so bear with me please I'm gonna start today's video with the medium Madewell transport tote with the zipper top option. I've reviewed several Madewell bags in the past, but not this one specifically. I've only had this one for, for a couple of weeks. Uh, the one you have seen me review in the past was this bag. This one is, it's the same, same bag, but this one has the open top and this one has the zipper top. I've had this one for maybe a couple of years so it is definitely worn in and broken in this one i've only had for a couple of weeks you're going to notice a um, big difference in the color they're both english saddle but this one is on the lighter end this one's more middle of the road there is there are darker versions of this bag as well they do vary from i guess lot to lot with the dyes but this one has always been on the lighter end it's not because it's been used or faded or anything like that. It was just always on the lighter end. And they do vary in texture as well. Sometimes you'll get a bag that's really pebbled. Sometimes you'll get a really smooth bag. Um, I kind of like prefer the, I think I prefer the smooth to be honest. Um, the pebble is definitely, I feel like softer. It softens up quicker, but I like the smoother look just a little bit better. And this side you'll notice is is really smooth. I really love this side of the bag more than this side. And it, Madewell makes these totes out of two pieces of what they call fine leather. And I'm gonna guess that that's top grain leather, um, not necessarily a full grain. I think it's a little bit too thin to be full grain, which is fine. I love the quality of this bag. I feel like it's, it's very lightweight for leather. I feel like it has the, enough sheen that makes it um, more appropriate for business casual wear. It's just a really great bag, but I'm gonna go over the specs of the bag as far as um, height and details. This bag is 12 and one quarter inches in height, 11 inches in width, and it's five and a half inches in the depth. It does have a softly worn waxed finish, which will develop into a unique patina over time with exposure to sun, um, in oxygen just with daily use. Um, I have placed this bag out in the sun a few times on purpose uh, just because I like the way that bags patina with exposure to sunlight. This bag is unlined, which if you've watched any of my vid videos in the past, you know that that's my favorite. I just like the natural side of the leather. And this one is, it's not, I don't want to say rough, but it does not have the super suede feeling that some of my full grain leather bags have, but it is very nice. It's still very nice. And it does have an interior pocket with a zip closure. And I wanted to mention that Madewell uses the same leather on the inside for their interior pocket that they use on the outside. So you're not getting a lower quality interior zip pocket. It's very nice, very, very high quality leather interior. And it does have the zip top closure, or I'm sorry, not zip top, but the zipper closure with the antique brass hardware. And you'll notice that they do have their logo right there on the pocket. 
So that's, that's nice for added security inside the bag, especially if you're gonna go with the open top bag. At least you will have a zip pocket, you know, so that you can put things that you don't want easily accessed from your bag um, or things that you don't want falling out in the vehicle. So that is very nice. Inside this bag is a couple of D-rings because it does have the nice crossbody option. And I use this way more than what I thought I would. Um, usually I don't, typically in the past, I haven't used bags this large for a crossbody, but I don't know, more recently, I've been just throwing this bag crossbody over because it's so convenient, especially when I'm like at the grocery or pushing a cart or something like that. It makes it super convenient. And also I wanted to mention that Madewell makes lots of straps. So there's lots of fun options. This one is their braided strap, an English saddle. This one does not work as crossbody, but it's a great shoulder carry. If you get, you know, bored with this one, you can always pop on a, um, a different strap and they make all kinds of prints and fabrics. And I don't know, this might be their only leather option. I'm not positive, but I really like this one. I think it's really pretty and unique. So they have this crossbody strap that um, is adjustable. I have it right there in the middle and it adjusts from 14 inch at the shoulder, shortest as far as the actual drop, not the length of the strap, but the actual drop is 14 inch at the shortest, 19 inch at the longest. And this is, like I mentioned, this is a, a semi-vegetable tan leather. So it is susceptible to um, spotting and, and staining. I, when I first got the bag, I treated it with Apple brand rain and stain guard repellent protectant spray. I just sprayed it all over, followed the instructions, and then I took it to Florida with me. We were in Destin a couple weeks ago. We were there actually one day before Tropical Storm Cristobal blew in. And boy, was it rainy. It was windy and rainy. So I was like, oh no, I brought my Madewell bag. So I just use them. I mean, that's what they're for, so I use them. I carried my mini Lorimer backpack most of the time. It has absolutely no water spots on it, and but I did also treat it with the Apple brand protection spray. So I would definitely recommend doing that. It doesn't change the color of your bag at all. I know some people are worried about putting products on their bag that may change the color. That one does not, does not do that at all. Uh, the, out, the exterior of this bag has no visible branding, so if that's something that's important to you, it doesn't scream Madewell product. Um, and then this bag is um, ethically and sustainably made, as well as the Parker Clay. So I wanted to point that out as well. I know that isn't very important to a lot of people. So moving on to the Parker Clay. The Parker Clay bag is full grain leather. So with full grain leather, you're gonna get a little bit more thickness and you're gonna get a little bit more weight. Um, but you also get a feel that is kind of hard to describe. It's a very, it's a very durable feel. It feels like it's, it's thicker, it's very, it's more substantial leather. Um, it's a premium Ethiopian full grain leather and this is in the color Rust Brown. This bag is a little bit larger than the Madewell but I thought it was most um, comparable in terms of style. This is 15 inches in height, 13 inches in length, and then your depth is the same as the Madewell at five and one half inches. The bag weighs one and a half pounds, which, which isn't terribly heavy for a full grain leather tote. Um, it is a little bit longer or, or taller, I should say, than the Madewell and the wider. So right around two inches taller, two inches wider, same depth. This bag is also unlined. So you get that really gorgeous suede side of the leather and it's just super smooth and soft. I love it. it. Smells amazing. And it also has an interior pocket as well with a zip closure. Has their brand on there. And you'll notice that the zipper is also branded with the name Parker Clay. Really nice, smooth zipper. A little smoother than the Madewell, I will point out. Okay, so let's talk about this handle drop. This is really long. 
this is a 12 and a half inch handle drop. So you're gonna notice like most tote bags, most leather tote bags range right around the 10 and 11 inch mark. Um, I think that's more universally comfortable for most heights, I guess. But this one is 12 and a half inches. That's really long for a tote. And I'm gonna show you how this looks on the body. But first, let me just show you um, the difference in the Madewell handle. This one is only eight and one quarter. That's really on the short side. Um, I could see where this could be a problem for people living in a colder climate. I live in a colder climate, I live in Ohio. So in the winter we do wear, you know, the puffy jacket. So that does not leave a whole lot of space under the arm. So I just wanted to show you and point that difference out. So this one does sit really high on the body. I think it has a really nice look that way. Um, and it would be added security if you chose the open top version of this tote, keeps it closer to the body, less accessible for when you're in a large crowd. But let me try both of these on for you and let you see where they hit on the body. Move the camera back. First, Parker Clay. Plenty of room here but I really don't love how long this looks on, on me. I think it, it tends to look a little bit long. Let me know what you think. I don't know. I think it looks just like it's hanging too low. So I think a 10 and a half strap would have been perfect on this particular tote. And for this one, nice and high maybe too high for some. Um, and then I want to also show you where this body sit, where this bag sits on the body in crossbody style. So I have this on right at the center, so we could go lower. I think that's a really good spot right there at the hip. Um, very comfortably worn as a crossbody. back in sorry about that so basically that is my comparison of these two totes and I also wanted to mention that sometimes there's an issue with totes not just this particular brand or that one but in totes in general that have a problem with the uh, structure once you put your your things in the bag they tend to round out um, I learned this from another YouTube video that you can buy these flexible cutting sheets at Dollar Tree and just trim them to the size of, the, of your, your base of your bag and they will prevent your bag from rounding out and sagging. It doesn't, it, it's not an issue. It doesn't uh, damage your bag at all to be stretched out or sagging like that. But I think it's just, it creates a cleaner look if it's just straight across, more structured across the bottom. So I wanted to mention that as well. I've already mentioned my reason for doing this. It's basically to help others. Um, I turn to YouTube often for my myself for looking for purse reviews, bag reviews, leather reviews. So you're probably wondering, like, why do you have so many bags? I don't. I don't know. I love. I love bags. I've loved them for as long as I can remember. I don't have a huge collection. I try to keep it very moderate. Uh, I try to stay right around, I don't know, I probably like 25, 30 bags and I'm constantly buying, selling. I do buy pre-loved bags. Um, I do sell my bags. I have a Poshmark closet account. You can feel free to follow me there. It's Heidi Brooke where I do sell some of my bags from time to time. You can also follow me on Instagram. I will post photos of my bags at different locations, uh, restaurants, just with different lighting. Sometimes I'll just look at my bag and say, oh, it looks beautiful sitting there and I'll just take a picture and post it. I have more videos to come. I have uh, about eight bags that I wanna review for you guys right really soon. So please stay tuned, like and subscribe if you'd like to see those videos. And I believe that's it. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Thanks.